outside the Swansea.com stadium. Yes, it is called the Swansea.com stadium. Not the Liberty anymore. Still, people still get that confused. So a little bit of an idea about what we've got to do. Turn up, get your pass. Then you've got our press entrance just there. The main entrance there. And you've got your main reception over there. But this is where, this is where we go. That's Phil on the door over there. What a boy. And then up we go, set the kit up. And it's a simple case of having some grub and getting a coffee. Here before everyone else. Have a look. None of those commentators are here. Swansea against Millwall. Should be a... Uh, a pretty good game, I imagine. Swansea won the last fixture, of course, at, uh, at Blackpool. Millwall have uh, won two of their home games. They haven't won away in seven, so we're expecting a rather interesting game. As you can see from the shots of the pitch, looking absolutely brilliant. The summer, the summer's completely gone. It has been absolutely smashing it down with rain, but it is looking pretty crisp. This will suit Swansea style. Millwall will uh, likely look for the big man up top before me. That's if he's starting. Anyway, down to the press room, we'll have, uh, we'll have a quick coffee and we'll see what they've got on the menu. This is the Swansea press room. Russ is going to sit by the end of it. And he's either going to say, trust the process. We're doing really well, trust the process. After a defeat. Or, he's going to sit there and go, it's the process. See? This is what we do. This is how we play football. So this is the press room. Teams are out. That's what I think it's going to be, but it could be a little bit different. We've got Fisher in goal. Lightnabodia, Wood, Darling and Norton. Grimes and Allen in midfield and Cham and Manning either side with Obafemi and Peru up top. It might be that the uh, the switch sees Manning move over to left wing back, Lattabodia to right wing back. Grimes and Allen in midfield with and Cham, Peru and Obafemi up top. And then Millwall, Bielkowski in goal. Three at the back, as usual, Murray Wallace, Captain Jay Cooper and Charlie Cresswell. McNamara and Malone either side. Billy Mitchell in uh, midfield with Jamie Shackleton. George Honeyman. The Danger Man with Tyler Bury and Benica Forby is filling up a little bit. About half an hour to go until kickoff. We're all set up and ready to go. Cool commentators are here. Standard practice now. Last minute checks with the lineups just to make sure everything goes swimmingly. Last time I was here, it was very, very poor. 3 0 to Blackburn. They lost a lot of possession, but couldn't string a pass together in the, uh, in the final third. It wasn't until they started in crossing into the box they had any sort of joy. So they're going to need to be a little bit more inventive today, I think, just to try and get something from this. Millwall like a long ball over the top. But Honeyman, who's a very creative influence and a very creative force. A 4 is going to be a big threat up top. It's one of those that might favour the passing side tonight. It's been raining a lot. It's Wales. The surface is uh, pretty slick. We'll just have to see how it goes. Going live in... 10 minutes. Looking forward to it. Should be a good run. We are on the way at Swansea.com Stadium and it's Swansea against Millwall Live on Radio City. Five added on a 
Darling on goal on 93 and Burley at the back post has tapped home to make it 2 2. And they should have won this game. It's got the feeling of Oxford United all over again. It is full time at Swansea.com. It's 2 2. Two goals in injury time. Last two minutes of the game. Didn't deserve it. But they've got themselves a point though. Well, fair play to them. They did what they needed to do. Commentary went well, thanks to Rich and Alan for joining me. One of the Swan staff, by the way. He was so furious. I think he's booted a bin, which went flying down the steps. Madness from the, the staff of uh, Swansea City, by the way. One of the members of the uh, analyst team behind us. He uh, got up from his position and low back from the plastic bin. I think it hit someone, so he's had to go and apologise. It's a bit unlucky, but that's the way things go. There's a Millwall players. I don't know how you explain what occurred. Tuning up, Swansea, cruising. And then, I think the changes have caused the problem. I think the biggest one was he took Manning off, broke a bang on, and he's had to switch his defenders around. It moved uh, Norton to the right-hand side. Wood stayed where he was. Darling had to come across the centre. Uh, Cabango into the left side of centre-back. And then Sorinola at the left wing-back. Caused all sorts of problems. Sorinola fell asleep for the uh, the first for Millwall. Really, really disappointing from uh, his perspective. He was having a good game since he came on for Latabodia. Latabodia took a massive knock as well. I don't have oxygen in the first half. He's um, might have injured his neck. His collarbone, it could have been his shoulder, I'm not sure, but he looked in real agony. So, a bit of a disappointment for Sorinola, you've got to say it. Didn't track a man, easy ball in, Cabango on goal, possibly a Darling on goal. It's come off Cabango into Darling, and it's a difficult one to concede, but that's 93rd minute. You've got two minutes left of the five, and Millwall just went hell for leather, pumped it forward, got the corner. Just want to deal with the first corner, but don't deal with the second ball. Then you've got a ball played across goal, and Tyler Burys tapped it in. Well, Joe Allen was excellent and Cham was excellent. Manning, I thought, was superb on the left-hand side. As soon as he went off, caused issues for the Swans. Just really, really strange. Can't see the game out. Need to, uh, need to get a little bit of mentality going. Need the mentality monsters to kick in. Anyway, I'm sat in the car park because no one's going anywhere. Don't park in the car park. You'll never get out. Millwall team bus is still here waiting to get out. And they ain't going anywhere. They, are still, they ain't going anywhere. They're still on the pitch. And there's the first... Commentary, commentary diaries, commentator diaries, what are, we, what are we calling it? I'll work it out. Commentator diaries. Back next week. Well, back in a few days. Luton on Saturday. I'm not a Swans fan, by the way. Just so that you know. I'm not a fan. Bye bye. Speak to you all soon. Oh, what?